ISRO is all set to get a new chief. V Narayanan will officially take over the organization from S Somnath on January 14. Uh, ISRO is a great organization and it is a great responsibility given uh, to me by honorable prime minister uh, Modi ji. So who is this rocket scientist that is set to lead India's space agency? What is his vision and how will things shape up under him? We will answer all this and more. So stay tuned till the end of the video. V Narayanan completed his MTech in cryogenic engineering and has a PhD in aerospace engineering from IIT Kharagpur. He joined ISRO in 1984 as a rocket and spacecraft propulsion expert and rose through ranks. Before joining ISRO, he worked at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center or the VSSC his focus area at VSSC was in the solid propulsion of sounding rockets and augmented satellite launch vehicle or the ASLV and polar satellite launch vehicle or the PSLV apart from working at ISRO and the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Vinarayanan also played a key role in developing a cryogenic engine in the country this type of engine uses fuel at very low temperatures as low as minus 150 degrees celsius during the final stage of a space launch vehicle he also headed the failure analysis committee for chandrayaan 2 which involved the crash of the vikram lander the learnings from the mission were then used for chandrayaan 3 leading to its thunderous success now let's focus on v narayanan's career at isro he is an apex scale scientist and senior most director at the organization He also presides over all launch vehicle projects and programs. Narayanan is also a part of India's planned human space flight mission Gaganyaan. He is also clear in his vision for the agency. In an interview, he told NDTV, "We have a clear road map for India, and I hope to take ISRO to great heights as we have great talent." And with that, we come to an end. How do you think ISRO will look under Narayanan's leadership? Are you excited about India's future space missions? Let us know in the comments below and for more stay tuned to NDTV Profit.